Hey everybody, welcome back to Grain Markets and other stuff. Thank you for joining me. It is Friday, February 12th. Uh, grain Markets just closed here as I speak on Friday afternoon. Thank you for coming back. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you for your support. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and make sure you hit that like button. It will really uh, help YouTube to spread these videos out. That's the way their computers work. The more likes they get, uh, the more views that I get. So I would really appreciate that. If you are listening on the podcast, uh, thank you for listening. Um, I can't believe how many people listen to this thing. It's really unbelievable to me. But uh, leave me a review on the Apple Podcast app if you have not already. Uh, would sincerely appreciate any feedback that you might have. Remember, guys, we have a three-day weekend uh, coming up here. No grain markets on Monday. I had uh, something on my mind here today in regard to um, the corn market and, and corn marketing as we start to look at this 2021 crop and we move uh, closer to the planting season. Uh, there is one spread in particular that I think you as a farmer or as a grain marketer should really have your you should really have your eye on this spread right now and the spread that i'm talking about is the december 21 out to july 22 corn spread so uh, what am i talking about here so let's go contract by contract december 21 corn is you know december of 2021 this is the contract off which you will probably price um, a good chunk of of this 2021 corn crop right I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that a lot of you watching and listening have some sort of on-farm storage. I'm also going to go out on a limb and assume that that some of you or most of you have some new crop sales on the books at this point. Believe it or not, there is carry in the new crop corn market. And I know that um, in, unless you've looked at it, you probably wouldn't realize that because our, our nearby corn contracts are inverted, meaning that your spot month contract is trading above your deferred contract. In this instance, when you go out to December of 21, uh, DS 21 corn is trading below July 22 corn by a good 10 cents. Um, DS 21's been hovering around uh, 450. July 22's been hovering around 460. So there is some carry in this new crop corn market right now. One thing to realize about carry and capturing carry, and I don't know if everybody knows this, I think most people do, you don't have to wait until harvest to capture carry. You don't have to wait till your December contract, whether it be futures or HTAs, are about to come due. If we get an amount of carry that is suitable to you at any point, whether it's next week or three months from now, uh, you can go ahead and roll those short futures or HTA positions out to July of 22, or you could use you know March 22, May 22. I'm using the July as an example here, but you can roll these these short futures or HTA sales at any point in time. You don't need to wait till October or November or until somebody calls you and tells you that you have to roll the position or you have to do something with it. You need to be, in my opinion, a little bit more proactive here. There is a chance that the market could offer you enough carry to make it worth your while long before harvest. Let me paint you a picture. Let's, let's say that uh, come May or June, we get the crop in the ground without any major hiccups, uh, not a big uh, prevent plant number or anything. We plant 96 million acres of corn. It's looking good, weather looks good. This spread could could very well offer you 20 or 25 cents of carry by, by June if the right things happen. The crop looks like it's gonna be big. If uh, it looks like we're gonna be adequately supplied, there there is without a doubt a chance at the very least that you could see that sort of carry offered uh, long before harvest. And typically when it comes to this particular spread, uh, December 21 to July 22 or any December, December versus the following July, that spread in particular, 25 cents is, is a really good target historically. It, it has been historically. There have been years when we've gone past that, but if you were able to capture 25 cents every year, you'd be doing really, really good. Um, I'll do a follow-up to this at some point where I show you the seasonal chart and, and show you exactly um, what this, this spread has done historically. But I know off the top of my head from doing this uh, this work in, in spreads and, and capture and carry for so many years that if you can get 25 cents from Dece to July um, on corn that you're gonna store on the farm, that's really really an excellent deal. So you need to start watching this now, in my opinion. You, it, it's not at harvest that you need to start watching it. You should really be keeping an eye on these calendar spreads now rather than later because the opportunity could present itself now. As a matter of fact, just last year in 2020, 
in spring 2020 when the corn market was very cheap uh, there was a lot of carry from December 20 out to the following summer. And that's that carry could have been captured in the spring before we had our, our big run up here. It, it, it was out there and it was out there very early. Um, the same sort of, of thing could theoretically happen this year. I have no prediction about what the spread's going to do. I have no prediction about what the crop's going to be or what the flat price is going to be. I'm specifically talking just about this spread and about the potential that to, to capture carry long before harvest. So I really think that if you're not watching this spread, if you're gonna put corn in the ground this spring and you're not watching these spreads, you've got some on-farm storage, you've got the ability to capture carry, you should really start. If you guys have some follow-up questions to this, um, I, I, I tried to keep this short and sweet. If you have some follow-up questions, shoot me an email to uh, info at standardgrain.com. And remember guys, if you need some help uh, with your grain marketing, as always, go to my website. It's www.standardgrain.com. Click on grain marketing plan in the uh, upper right-hand corner. This is the stuff that I talk about all the time in that newsletter. Um, yeah, I give you all the overnight headlines and I give you um, when I'm marketing grain, corn, soybeans, and wheat, and it's broken down by crop by crop year by percentage. But stuff like this, um, knowing when and how to capture carry, things along these lines um, can, can really help to improve your bottom line. If you if you can capture uh, carry and do it effectively and learn how these spreads work, um, this, this can really improve your grain marketing. And, and it really doesn't have a whole lot to do with predicting what prices are gonna do. Like this is one of the most, there is nothing that's black and white in regard to markets or marketing, but this is one of the, the things that is say less of a gray area. Like if we get these to July corn to, to 25 cents, I'm, I'm pretty confident that that's gonna be a decent decision for me. Could I leave a little bit on the table? Yeah, but I'm pretty confident that that's gonna be a decent decision. If you guys have questions about this, shoot me uh, an email to info at standardgrain.com. I'd love to hear from you. Everybody have a wonderful weekend. I'll be back Tuesday. We're off on Monday. Uh, see you then.